1968. I was at the University of Manly, and the Shan State Army, led by Zhao Zhang Yonghui, they wanted to meet us, and we wanted to meet them, so we went there. A year later, we decided that we couldn't be under the Burmese anymore. We left and then joined the SSA. We weren't with them for too long. That was up only about three months. Later, we joined another resistance group, the Shan United Revolutionary Army. The reason was that Zhao Zhang Yonghui, he was not advocating total independence as most of the Shan people would have wished, but only for a genuine federal union. And many of us thought that it wasn't worth fighting for, it wasn't worth dying for. Uh, so we joined the Shan United Revolutionary Army. It was total independence. At that time, uh, most of the rural areas were under the resistance control, unlike today. So the life in the rural areas was uh, quite enjoyable for most of the fighters. But I didn't have time to stay in the rural areas for very long because I was called by the headquarters that's along the border mm -hmm. to join them. And I came here in 1971. Then found out that they needed me as a public relations officer. I said, I don't know how to speak, how to give a speech, but I know how to write. Uh, could I write instead of speaking? They said, that's fine with us. So I started writing. When I left the SSA, uh, they weren't fighting against each other. But two years later, they did. While the SURA was accusing the SSA as communists, the SSA was also accusing the SURA as Chinese, uh, white Chinese lackeys, uh, because the SURA was allied to the Kuomintang, Taiwan-based Kuomintang. So the the infighting continued about three years, I think. Afterwards, the Burmese Communist Party uh, joined the fray, and the war continued, mostly with the the communists, but sometimes with the SSA, until 1983, I think. That year, the, my boss called a nationwide appeal uh, and urged a national reconciliation and unity. His call was answered by the SSA Southern Group. They joined together and then became the Revolutionary Council which was later known as the Shan State Revolutionary Council. 